We're in Baltimore's Little Italy now, and this place is significant to me because I had a lot of friends down here. I had a uh, industrial supply business that I started in the early 18 in the early 1980s, and eventually sold that. And it was headquartered where these large buildings are behind me now. But this was the this was Little Italy. It's also the place when I was married. A million years ago, my wife and I first lived here on this street. And, uh, Muggs is across the street. He used to do the illegal numbers. The Delanoche funeral home here, where the old joke is they straightened a few guys out in their time. And a lot of these houses have been vastly improved. And uh, Muggs is, I don't know what that is now, that was, it's been all fancified now. I don't know what that is, Bistro. <laughs> he must be dead, he would have never allowed that to be a uh, Bistro. But they had all these cool little, uh, little restaurants in here. <laughs> that just cracks me up, this guy was like, he was like, this, this neighborhood was like, this neighborhood was like right out of Goodfellas. I mean, a joke among a lot of guys in the neighborhood, and it was probably true. There were guys that were born born in this neighborhood and died in this neighborhood and never left this neighborhood their whole life. They never went anywhere. They never saw anything in the world. They lived their whole life right here in Little Italy. It was a tight-knit little community. And uh, by and large, the guys were wealthy. You see... Uh, this is where I lived, uh, 239 South Exeter Street. At that time, I was struggling to uh, kind of make ends meet. We lived way up on the uh, way up on the uh, fourth floor there. And let me tell you, in summertime, with no air conditioning and walking up four flights of steps to get up there, hoot hoot! <laughs> it was unbelievable. And. Uh, we used to go down to St. Leo's Church down here once in a while and during the Italian during the Italian festivals and things they close off this street out here and it is just it's an absolute mob scene but uh, amazing to me that that place is still there and uh, I still remember Charlie Delomo worked at National National Distillers Seagram's company out on uh, the west end of town is a uh, barrel checker and <laughs> really brings back a lot of uh, really brings back a lot of memories and uh, over here it's not uh, not particularly marked well but you have the uh, D'Alessandro house and if you don't if the name D'Alessandro doesn't ring a bell you know don't worry and that's the house right there that's uh, this is the house where uh, Nancy uh, Nancy Peluso grew up, <laughs> right here. Your former Speaker of the House of the United States lived right there, and I lived across the street and used to uh, used to date her niece a couple times before I met my uh, current, <clears throat> not current, but uh, my wife at that time. So brings back a lot of memories to me, and you see the little American flag out there. People here aren't ostentatious, they don't make a big deal of stuff, but you can bet to, you can bet your boots that they are super proud of how, how far uh, she went in the world. And her father was uh, the mayor of Baltimore and her uncle was, her grandfather was a uh, congressman, so. You've seen where uh, Nancy Peluso grew up and used to be like hell town over there. The family be fighting and screaming at us. I mean, I was, uh, I was, I was Irish. What the hell did I know about anything? But they now it's all uh, has fancy restaurants and St. Leo's has a beautiful little display here of guys in the neighborhood that uh, went off to war. And it seems like the uh, airlines have screwed up my. Uh, besides having a crack in my screen here, my my viewing screen, it seems my focus doesn't really want to work anymore. So. Thanks for messing that up. I don't know, maybe it's a setting or something, I don't know. 
Oh, but it's uh, it's a warm day today, but I walk down these streets with these uh, nice uh, trees and it feels so good. Anyway, I was telling you one of my memories which was being up on the fourth floor and getting this call, hey, your wife doesn't know how to parallel park. I mean, look at how small these streets are, right? And on Fridays, everybody's coming in for the uh, restaurants and shit, you know. <laughs> And she's down there holding up traffic. Crazy stuff. I have to come down there racing down and get... Sometimes somebody would jump out and parallel park it. <clears throat> Other times I'd have to come down and uh, do it for it. But they have a lot of little... Uh, some really... I've had some really great meals down here. Caesar's Den and... Denitti's, Denodi's. They even have their own little savings and loan here, the Colombo Savings and Loan, and uh, there it is right down there, the Colombo Bank. But you had to be Italian <laughs> to join the uh, to join the deal. But uh, isn't this a lovely little neighborhood here? And this is one of my fonder fonder memories. And if I recall correctly, right over here we have a uh, bocce ball court where the big entertainment for everybody was to come over and play uh, bocce ball. Let's see what's going on there today. <laughs> I don't want to get whacked for the <laughs> camera, but yeah. Yeah, they still have the, uh, still play the, uh, still play the bocce ball and everything. <laughs> Super memories here, the, uh, you know, the positive variety for sure. So some of the best years <laughs> were right down here. These guys were amazing. They took me under their wing, treated me like royalty. You know, one of the guys bought my industrial supply business when I got tired of it and grew it to a certain size. And uh, you know, suddenly he contracted lung cancer. It was really uh, Really a shame, but uh, a lot of memories down in uh, Baltimore, Little Italy. Okay. to have the full appreciation of it. It was an Italian thing. <laughs> and they let you know every single day of your life, baby, you ain't Italian, you know what I'm saying? We just make you an honorary, like, uh, sort of chooch along, but uh, you ain't Italian, baby. <laughs> All right, well, that was a fun little stop over here on South Exeter Street in Little Italy in Baltimore. It's nice when the clouds come over, it cools it off a little bit. They're getting ready for the uh, St. Gabriel's uh, Festival, August 17th and 18th. They'll close up the whole street here. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, little chooch into Little Italy, one of the most uh, fun, delightful, and colorful parts of the uh, city of Baltimore and a place that holds a lot of fond memories for me.